Brake valve performance can be affected by what goes on in the vehicle cab, as well as what goes on below or behind the mounting plate. Dirt contamination can accumulate around the bottom of the foot treadle in floor-mounted varieties. Special attention should be paid to the area around the foot valve itself to make sure no stones or debris are stuck under it. A worn or torn rubber boot can allow dirt to contaminate the application piston. In suspended types, make sure that the linkage is not worn or bent. Another problem is the presence of contaminants like rust and even the use of Teflon tape. If used on fittings and improperly placed or trimmed, pieces of tape can break up, enter the system, and cause valve seats to leak. The symptom of poor brake feel can be caused by a number of conditions having to do with the brake valve. They include the difference between how a pedal and a treadle type feel during a brake application, a foot treadle that binds or mechanically hangs, a roller that hangs up or doesn't roll properly, a piston that binds or is corroded due to a torn boot, inadequate lubrication, or dirt, or an improperly adjusted cap screw height setting for the treadle stop. A test for excessive brake valve leakage can be done by making and holding a hard brake application of about 80 psi. Coat the exhaust port body of the brake valve with a soap solution. Acceptable exhaust port leakage is a one inch bubble in three seconds in both the applied and released positions. For leakage that's more excessive or noted anywhere else, the valve should be rebuilt with a genuine Bendix rebuild kit or replaced with a new or remanufactured unit. Leakage at the exhaust port in the non-applied position may be an indication of a failure downstream of the valve. In order to determine whether that's the case, it's necessary to remove the delivery lines at the brake valve. Air exhausting from a line indicates a failure other than the brake valve. Use caution when removing air lines, since the supply line will be pressurized. 